you know. Today, I'm particularly excited for because it's been overcast like the whole day. It's been overcast like the whole day. Oh, come on, dog. Don't do me like this. Wow. It's been overcast like the whole day today. Which A makes for a particularly cold day out in these parts. But B it means clouds. And you know me and clouds. It means sunset. It's probably gonna be better than the sunsets for, I mean sunspots for. I have a really good feeling that it could possibly be better than sunspots for. Because what I'm looking at right now, bro, some of the most dramatic clouds I've seen since sunspots for. And like a day or two after sunspots for. Now the only problem is that I can already feel that this one is going to be clapping my ass by the time the sun goes down. But you know what? It's gonna to be totally worth it. But this gate is just open. Thank you so much. But you know, while I'm on the topic of gates opening and shit, I don't know, like tell me if well, A, if you live in a residential complex, because it's totally different for estates, especially in this country, but like if you live in a residential complex in South Africa, just like comment below and tell me like, does your complex like have this thing where you have two ways of opening, you know, like a particular gate? Because like what we have here is you can open the gate with a remote standard shit and then you can call the gate right which is cool and everything because it kind of eliminates the need for a remote also kind of acts as a backup for the remote right but what the idiots that run you know like the governing body in my residential complex have done is that they've decided that each apartment is limited to the amount of gates that they can call. Does that make sense to you? Because it doesn't make sense to me, especially me being like a resident who quote unquote owns, you know, like we're not, we're not renting at this place. You know, we own the apartment that we live in essentially, right? That makes us I forgot like what the categorization is, but we're not tenants essentially, right? We're owners. And it's kind of wild to me that I have limited access to my home, you know, because like my complex has three gates, right? It's a pretty, it's a relatively big complex. It stretches, yeah, a relatively big complex. There's technically like three addresses that the complex fills right because you know three gates and I a person who lives near gate two if I wanted access to gate two then I can only have access to gate two and that being calling right because 
the remote situation is even more fucked up. But that kind of makes sense because of how the complex is built. But I digress. What I'm trying to make is comment down below and let me know. Like, does your complex have this thing where they restrict the access that you have as a resident? Because ours does this. And it is incredibly frustrating because you saw in the beginning of the video just now. I was standing at the gate and I couldn't leave. I couldn't exit my home because I don't have access to a specific gate. It's wild. It's absolutely wild to me that, that like that's a thing, honestly speaking. But hey, safety, I guess. But we are here back at the... Uh, standard spot because I'm really not trying to go too far considering time and also the fact that this one is gonna beat my ass as soon as the Sun is down it's already doing so my hands are already cold so we're just gonna keep it simple you know keep it very simple very cozy and now that we have our mono tripod over here it's going to be I don't know I wouldn't say different, but definitely uh, different. <laughs> I don't know, but like, yeah, I'm gonna still, like put you down here while I set up the mono tripod. And yeah, hopefully, A, the mic is not out on us because. I've been watching like some of the footage from like the unedited videos in the series and then it's becoming very very obvious incredibly obvious that I'm going to need a new microphone soon either a new microphone or or I should probably just need to get like a new aux cable for my mic whichever one comes first but most likely an aux cable now that i'm actually saying it out loud saying i need to get a new microphone is just unnecessarily expensive i don't even know why i thought that in the first place but hey this is why it's sometimes good to vocalize your <laughs> instead of just internalizing everything and you know making decisions on just internal thoughts without actually hearing how incredulous your idea sounds or something like that I don't know but <clears throat> Manopado is set up uh, I really I really can't wait to get to the point where I can like be this boisterous and loud around people because like you would have noticed in the beginning of this series you know with like especially the first two videos when I'm walking within the corridors back home, I naturally, and I say naturally with like an asterisk next to it, I naturally just get quieter because I know that there's people around me and I'm walking past people's houses. So like talking at full volume just might be a little jarring for people. At least that's what I tell myself in my head. You know, and I refuse to accept the fact that I'm still very much a shy boy, you know? Still very much a shy boy who does not like attention like that. Which makes the entire idea of YouTube and just doing things for the tube meant for you, what the fuck, is a bit... I don't know. I, I don't have the word to articulate it properly, but like it's it's a bit contra yes, contradicting. It's a bit contradicting, honestly speaking, because I'm shy. Why am I putting myself out on the internet where there's way more people around? You know? But hey, we're set up. I'm gonna like tilt this up a little bit. We're good to go.
I hate physical discomfort. Like there's nothing there's nothing that grinds my gears. <laughs> grinds my gears. You know what really grinds my gears? There's nothing that grinds my gears, honestly speaking, more than physical discomfort. You can't even see me. Which is not a new thing on this wonderful series of ours. What is new? What is new? is just how thoroughly the wind is waxing me right now because yo <laughs> you know what i said earlier that like it's been overcast the whole day it's been overcast and windy but like it was worth it though i, I feel like it was 100 percent worth it sure enough i didn't catch the whole sunset we didn't catch the whole thing but what we managed to capture so far is nice and I feel like it's indicative. Can I even see? Ah, uh, there I am. And I feel like it's indicative, really, of like how, you know, some of these. Oh, that's actually, that's, that's, that's a nice look. I like the way that looks. It's like a little sinister in a way. But like, I feel like it's indicative of potentially what the sunsets you know like in the coming months are going to look like honestly speaking and that gets me really excited we're going to do the smart thing and just end the video here i guess actually you know what i know i tried it in the other video and it failed horribly. Well, it, it didn't fail that bad. It's just like the light was just a little too direct. And <clears throat> yeah, the light was just a little too direct. And you know, it looked like that. But stay dangerous. And um, I'll see you in the next one.